we got an alpha. Let me tell you about this thing. I really like it. So, a little bit of backstory. Last year, we got my wife a motorhome. We, we bought a motorhome for my wife's birthday. She'd always been wanting one. We had always traveled with travel trailers, uh, putting machines on the truck, towing extra trailers, pulling doubles. No big deal, never bothered me a bit. She's always wanted a motorhome, so last year we decided to go ahead and buy one. We bought a Class C, 29 foot, uh, four winds. Great motorhome. Uh, had a lot of fun in it last summer, used it a few times this summer, and decided, well, we really do like the motorhoming life. And as, re as uh, pushed back as I was to get in the motorhome, I turned out really like it too. A lot of pros, some cons, but a lot of pros. So we decided to go ahead and upgrade this year. And we found this Class A Alpha. It's a 2003 uh, 38-footer, 36 inside, 37.9 overall, I think the specs are. But this thing is nice, and I am liking it. I am looking forward to using it this year and for years to come. So let's check this thing out. All right, like I said, this is a 2003 Alpha. Um, it is cool. It is big. I, I've never had anything this big before. It's a whole different driving experience, camping experience, just everything. So, you take a quick look on the outside here. Typical, like, bus style for an entry door. It's got uh, full-size semi-tires, 295, 75, 22, 5. Tons of storage down the side. This is storage. This big thing is storage. It's got two pull-outs in there. This cabinet here. I mean, just huge amounts of storage in there. I have no idea what we're ever going to put in there or fill it with besides what's in there now. So, all right. I accidentally broke the handle off the big door. Got to get a new one coming in. But just as easy to do this for the time being. But check out the storage in here. It's full pass through, so you can access this tray from both sides. They got rollouts. I mean, heck, this thing is huge. Super nice. Put tons of weight on there and it still rolls in and out really nice. Like I said, full pass through, built on a Freightliner chassis, all air ride suspension. It is just awesome. Cable TV, power outlets, speakers out here for outdoor listening. There's some big tires again. It's got basement AC and heat, like residential, so it's all through vented through the floor. Heat registers and ducts and cold air return, just like in your house. Runs off a of 30 amp or 50 amp. It's got two heat pumps in it. It's got a big, it's got a cat diesel engine. It's a 3126 six cylinder with an Allison six speed in it. Big diesel pusher. Ooh, got a lot of dust. Woo! All you can see back here is radiator, hydraulic fluid reservoir, filter, transmission fill. Got your, uh, you know, like a little power center here with big cord and your 50 amp and 30 amp switch. Little air hose there because it's got onboard air. Uh, starting batteries and storage there. Water fill. It's got a huge slide out. I think the slide out's 13 feet long and it's 40 inches deep. This is all water station, dump valves, outdoor hose or shower, hot water heater bypass, flushing, draining, winterizing. Super cool. This is the other side of that pass-through storage. Tons and tons of storage. Huge propane tank. Look at this thing. I don't even remember how many gallons that is. 38 gallon tank. Huge. 
way bigger than our last motor home. More storage here. Got some oil and things in there now. Big old inverter. This inverter runs everything, even without the motorhome plugged in or running. There's your little onboard air air chuck for like filling tires and different things. Got a fuel tank here, 100 gallon fuel tank. So, uh, yeah. What? 100 gallons at once or filling up a 55 gallon tank twice. Not that much of a big deal. 7,500 watt generator, three cylinder diesel generator. It's got six batteries in here, six six volt batteries. Thing's got power for days. And the generator's super quiet. So, Alpha Sia. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, one, one thing, just kind of a little neat little feature I like on this, is when the key's on, when you open the door, that step automatically comes out for you. When you shut the door, it automatically goes back in. Just kind of a nice little bonus. See inside, we got uh, power awning, um, step lights, the, the lights on the outside, they call them scare lights, slide controls. It's really nice. Got an overhead TV here. Got a Blu-ray player over here. A power distribution box. 10 disc CD changer. Woohoo! 2003, baby. Full instrument display. Uh, hydraulic levelers. Not automatic, but pretty darn close. Got generator start. Auxiliary starts high generator batteries. Let's do the starting batteries. Got uh, got some power awnings or power shades here. So these will run the uh, these will run the shades down here. Let's turn it on. Kind of a feature I like. My wife says I'm an old man with my power shades. I'll take it. Got backup camera here. So you can actually see behind you, which is nice. Oh, comes on with the key. Full set of drawers in the front. No idea what I'm going to use those for. Both front seats swivel and recline. Super nice. I like that the floor is all flush when the slide is out. I mean, look at this slide. It's huge. Freestanding dinette. This thing is so nice for us. This couch folds out into a queen size bed, which is awesome. Uh, day night shades. Convection microwave. Typical RV oven. Huge counter space. Huge. Tons of storage under the counter. This cabinet here has drawers that slide out so you can get to everything. All the storage up top, I mean, above the fridge and all above the roof. Oh, and speaking of the roof, this thing has a seven and a half foot interior height. And it's huge. The Alphas at the time, they were trying to be the most like home, they said. But so we're seven and a half foot to the ceiling. It's got three powered vents, or this power, the vents powered up and down, the fans powered. Got a ceiling fan, circulates some air huge pantry accessible from both sides so and just just deep super deep i like that's accessible so when the slides are in you can get to them double door fridge double door freezer it's got an ice maker inside oh already stocked up with the white claws huge oh better grab a cookie while i'm in here Mm. Gonna have to restock the cookies before the camping trip.
nice ceramic tile though all throughout from the kitchen back to the bathroom pretty nice a little sliding door here to separate off the whole back area for some privacy another sliding door here so if you want to separate this section off for showering freestanding sink love the fact it's got a regular porcelain toilet in it a cheap plastic one actually has a washer and dryer I can see us using this out camping. It's got a 100 gallon, 110 gallon water tank in it. So we're gonna try this out when we're camping with three kids. They get pretty dirty sometimes and heck, maybe it'll be good to figure out how much water it uses and get their stuff cleaned up. Another power vent in the bathroom. Huge closet, eight foot long closet. Tons of drawers underneath. Uh, nightstand with drawers, more storage cabinets on top. <laughs> it's insane. Storage above the washer dryer, a little closet here, more drawers of storage. Another nightstand over here with drawers in it. Got my book all ready to go for some off roading adventures. The third TV, kind of, kind of weird hanging down from the ceiling like that. It just looks a little odd, but hey, it works, right? This one's separate from the other two. The other two TVs you can tie together. Here's that sliding door. Full on, full on walk-in shower. Super nice. Little soap dispensers and everything. Love this thing. Love this thing. Residential AC and heat. So, oh my gosh, this thing is so nice. And with that air suspension, it rides so good going down the road. Holy cow. I've never had anything ride like this. There's some heat registers. We threw another recliner in here just to have a place, another place to sit or uh, somebody else wants to ride with us. Oh, I'll show you the engine here. I'll show you the, the cat engine. Check that out, Cat 3126. Good little engine, had a couple of issues uh, in previous years, but this one's been, had the parts upgraded on it. Turbo, just huge, runs super quiet. Now the guy we got this from said it gets about nine or 10 miles a gallon, so we'll see. Hi Buster. Hi Buster. What's he doing, big boy? Oh, he's a big boy. All right. Hey, let's fire this thing up. I'll show you what it sounds like. Let's listen to it. All right. First, we'll I'll let you uh, we'll listen to the generator. The generator is right here. It's a three-cylinder diesel, seventy-five hundred watt generator. And here's what it sounds like running without the engine running. Pretty darn quiet. I tell you what, it gives me a little nostalgic feeling because that's what I remember all the, the fair rides at the fair sound of like running off them little diesel engines. So that's the generator. Go ahead and fire this thing up. It's got a full Allison six speed in there, so you know, no park on there. You just gotta put it neutral and pull the e brake up. Full air brakes. There we go. That's that cat diesel running. Man, is it nice and quiet. Much better than the. Uh, than the old, than the air. Oh, got the beeping sound because I got the levelers down in the back. All right. Yeah, things got power, heated mirrors, got a little switch on here just like a car. 
Big old cup holder here. Spin around, there's another cup holder in the back. And for the passenger, for the passenger, that's pretty nice. Get a nice big flat floor so you can rest your feet up on there. Yeah, anyway, this thing is awesome. We love it. Super excited to get out and try it. I can't believe we bought an Alpha. Uh, these things kind of got a little following to them. And, you know, we've part of a couple Alpha groups now just to kind of get some information and, and learn about these. Here's that little step I was talking about. It's kind of cool. Comes out and back in it goes. Awesome. So if you're thinking about getting a motor home or a Class A motor home, but you're concerned about, well, I'm not sure because how big it is, or I'm not sure because how's it going to drive? Am I going to run over everything going around corners? It's actually pretty easy. It's really straightforward how to drive it. There's, I, I thought I would be running over every curb on every corner and practically wiping out mailboxes and cars on the street, but not the case. The thing drives really good. Drives awesome down the highway, just nice and smooth. Gets around town pretty good. You do need to know your height, though, for some of them in-town bridges. You don't want to end up like a picture on the internet, big old RV fail. So anyway, if you're looking to get to Class A or even any motorhome in general, I, can, I just encourage you to do it. Uh, you won't look back. It's so nice to have all that accessory and all that home function just in one. Instead of pulling a camper and then maybe pulling another trailer behind that, just everything's all together, which is nice. And We put a trailer behind this with our two razors or... We'll put our little car behind it. That's our plan. And so when we travel, we got a little vehicle to drive around in or take the Razor around and drive around in. But there it is. That's our 2003 Alpha. We love it. And you'll be seeing this thing in uh, upcoming future videos. We're heading out to uh, by Clancy, Montana next week. So that's going to be a, a, a Razor trip. And you'll see this thing in the video. And we'll have a video of Clancy and some fun trail rides and some unique, uh, unique sightseeing on there. So hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you out on the trail. God bless you.